everyone. Uh, I am Malika. I am from Ideas Modular Kitchens uh, and Interiors Rajori Garden. And instead of giving you tips and tricks, uh, we thought that we would review a kitchen that we saw in uh, one of uh, the recently released Bollywood movies, Andha Dhun, and tell you what as expert designers we liked in it and we recommend, and uh, what we would have wanted to change. Um, so let's get right into it. Kitchen. The first thing you can see is this beautiful island uh, with a niche. Uh, now, from what I can tell from this uh, clip, uh, this is a high gloss uh, acrylic uh, finish, and even uh, the table top seems like it is made of uh, the same material. Generally, it is supposed to be stone, but I think because of uh, the width of uh, the countertop as well as the bends that I can see, I think uh, it is made of uh, acrylic. And then the next thing that you can see is that it has a combination finish, which means that uh, the top cabinets are uh, made of matte finish and the bottom cabinets are uh, made of your plain white finish. Now let's go forward and see what else we can see. Yes, so yeah, as we can see, minus the dancing taboo, that uh, they've got uh, um, a lot of uh, drawers, but mostly shutters, and uh, there. And as you can see, their uh, handles, they are uh, very small ones, which we would not recommend in this kind of kitchen. Uh, you should either have like either profile handles or maybe long handles can also go because the, the colors are uh, really light. Um, so you could have given it like a touch of uh, silver that would match with the refrigerator. Uh, but I think overall it is a great finish and uh, the color combination goes great uh, with each other and uh, the white countertop uh, actually gives uh, the entire kitchen a very light look and uh, then I think one thing that I do need to point out which I love and which is very very practical is uh, the countertop lights the shelf lights which we call them which are basically lighting up the counter and uh, because of which it is very useful to do the chopping and uh, you know other things that is required and let's move forward okay the one thing that i can maybe critique or i would have changed is basically uh, the back open cabinets that you can see over here um, i agree that it gets like an easier access to everything that you want but uh, because most of uh, the cities are very dusty and um, you would require more space so i think two things that i would change is a give it a nice shutter because they have gone for a very nice oyster whitish color which is giving the entire room anyway a very light look so they could have gone for just closed cabinetry over here uh, and also because i can see that the uh, height of uh, the cutlery is not that much so they could have uh, had more shelves in it or if it would have been me i can't see what exactly is inside the rest of uh, the tall cabinetry but i would have definitely given them a few pantry drawers for better storage and then just covered that up with a very nice uh, panel and yeah, in this uh, you can see the finish of uh, the entire shutter better. Uh, they have taken um, matte shutters with wooden finishes and you can see their veins as well and they have matched them horizontally uh, with each other which is very very good workmanship. And uh, yeah, I think if we pause over here I can give you a better view of the handles as well. Now as you can see the depth of these handles does not look that much so it might be a problem in daily use and opening and closing them um, but uh, yeah overall this is a very very good design uh, the highlighters are managed very well uh, the cooking area is on the countertop instead of the island because they have gone for uh, the, your normal chimney which is uh, a tad bit more efficient than uh, your uh, island chimneys 
and I think that is a good decision that's been taken in this kitchen. Okay, so now I think to surmise, what I can tell you is the positives of uh, this kitchen were that it had a combination finish of uh, matte and gloss, which uh, gave uh, the entire kitchen a very light look. Uh, the second thing that we really liked about it uh, was the light colored uh, countertops, uh, which uh, make uh, the entire kitchen very trendy. Uh, the third thing that I personally appreciate and that we always recommend our clients is that they take under cabinet lights because they light up uh, the counter as well as the cabinets in which you would be keeping your things and makes the daily use of the kitchen like chopping very convenient. I think uh, the things that we did not like uh, and we would have changed is uh, that the open boxes that were there right beside the fridge, we would have covered them up with shutters because uh, that gives the entire kitchen a more cleaner look. And since we could see that there was already a very prominent window over there, so there is, that would have been a better option. Uh, the second thing that we would have changed is that instead of having matte laminate on the walls, we would have preferred to have it on the base cabinets and uh, the plain color would have been on the wall cabinets. That would have uh, given the entire kitchen an even uh, lighter look. Uh, I think one thing that I would like to add is that the best design element that I saw in the entire kitchen was the niche that was given in the island space which we can see right when we are entering the, the kitchen room and I think that's great because it adds like a great designer element to the entire thing and uh, makes it feel like the kitchen is part of the living space and uh, gives you a space that is accessible. So I think all in all uh, the Andhadun kitchen was a very well designed uh, kitchen that took care of all your spaces as well as made sure that it was how a person's actual home would be. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you liked it and it was useful in making the decision for your own home. And please let us know if there are any other kitchens and movies that you would like us to review. The next one that we are planning to do is Piku and help us out. And if you think this was a good idea, you can please log on to our website if you want more ideas about kitchens and interiors. It would be linked below. And you can also check out our YouTube channel and our last video in which we talk about how much you should actually budget for a kitchen if you want it to last you for more than 10 years. Uh, well, thank you and we'll see you next time.